Good morning, everyone. I'm Annie Almario, and I'm moderating the next session, which is on developing readership, generating book buzz. I'd like to introduce our speakers for this session. Our first speaker is Hisa Oiwa. She's a deputy editor-in-chief of the publishing department of PHP Institute, Incorporated. She edits books about economics, politics, self-help, and business. During her career at PHP, she has launched over 100 titles. And she also edited a book written by Jim Rogers called The World's Top Three Investor, which is a bestseller in Japan and has been translated in Korean, uh, Taiwanese, and Thai. Our second speaker is Princess Malonzo. She's part of an emerging independent publishing group called Halia Publishing. She's responsible for overseeing Halia's content distribution across different platforms and community engagement among the growing partners of MervStore.com, a digital art and comics marketplace. She is also a co-founder of Biblioflora, a literary arts and goods brand. On her spare time, Princess writes about books on her blog, Princess and Pages. And our third speaker is Segundo Matias Jr. He is a publisher and writer for TV, film, and print. For his children's stories, he has won prizes from the PBBY and the Don Carlos Palanca Memorial Awards for Literature. He was a fellow at the UP Institute of Creative Writing. One of uh, June Matias's recent novels, Mga Batang Paws, is now a series available on I Want. I'd like to call on Hisa to start the ball rolling. Good morning, everyone. I am Hisa Oiwa from Japan, editor at PHP Institute. First, I'd like to give you a short introduction of my company. PHP Institute was founded in 1946 by Konosuke Matsushita, who is also the founder of Panasonic. We publish 500 titles annually covering various topics such as economics, self-help, art, fiction, and non-fiction, and also seven titles monthly as magazines. Next, please let me introduce myself. I started my career with PHP in 2008. Since then, I have edited one of the seven monthly magazines for three years and edited books about cooking recipes, travel, fashion, and so on for another three years. Since 2014, I have been editing books about economics, politics, self-help, business, and so on. So let's now move on. Oh, sorry. <laughs> So this is my work, one of my marks. Um, okay. So oh yes. So let's now move on to the main topic. Today I want to talk about how to be successful with book marketing through social media. This chart shows you the trend of Japanese publishing market of past three years. You can see that the market is decreasing. In 2018, total amount of publishing market was about 1.5 billion US dollars. Actually, Japanese publishing market has been decreasing for 20 years, reduced by 60% from 1996 to 2018. Digital publishing is increasing in book market, but most of sales in digital is comic. So in Japan, the main market of book is still paper book. Number of bookstore in Japan is also decreasing over past two decades. It was reduced by 56% from 1999 to 2017. Therefore, there is a strong demand to come up with smart way to let readers know new books. So before introducing a specific examples, 
I'm going to explain about social media usage in Japan. How about usage of Facebook in Japan? Main user is middle age. And within middle age, about 60% is user is male. So how about usage in Twitter? About 60-70% of teens and 20s populations are Twitter users. Next, about the usage of Instagram in Japan. More young female users compared to another social media. So here, I would like to share with you the actual successful cases using social media. First case is use of Instagram for a book about child care. We, dis we did this campaign to resell an old bestseller book uh, published in 15 years ago. That is Children Learns What They Live. The book has 174 customer reviews, well sold by Amazon. So we expected that if more mother know the book through social media, they will buy the book by Amazon or by bookstore. We thought 174 customer review is valuable. Mothers of children usually don't want to make mistake when it comes to raising their child. So the books with many reviews let mothers believe the book is readable and it would lead them to purchase. So how we use social media? Oops. In Japan, Instagram is so popular for young women, including mother with young children. We used 16 Instagram influencers having 109,000 followers. And the most of the followers are mothers with young children with help of peer agency for a week. At the same time, we expanded bookstore display. Result is here. Went up to 59th of Amazon total ranking. Over 500 copies sold in two weeks by Amazon. They printed 2,000 and 20,000 copies in two weeks, ranked seventh of best-selling list in PHP Institute. Sales of the book increased by 180% year on year. Next is the case with the use of Facebook for book for middle-aged business person. The mission is to sell and promote a business book targeting men and around 50s. That is, difficulties you encounter around 50s as business person, which written by famous novel writer. Facebook in Japan is called as Paradise for Middle-Aged Men. So we expected that this book will get attention on Facebook. We put advertisement on Facebook for five days to lead Facebook users toward the article on Shoot Online that is web media by PHP Institute. Five articles are extracts of the book about difficulty of 50s men in company. Why we didn't put an advertisement of the book itself? The reason is that to selling this kind of book, it is important to make readers sympathize with the content. We published these articles on Shoot Online and the Yahoo News. Two days later, we put out advertisement on newspaper as well. So we expected lots of readers pay attention and get interest to the book through article or the newspaper on the weekend. Here is the result. The most read articles got over 270,000 page views and 500 likes. All five articles ranked in top 10 at Shoot Online. 
ranked third of best-selling list in PHP Institute. They printed 11,000 copies, total 23,000 copies. We used the unique characters of Facebook, having many middle-aged users. In addition, we well planned the way to advertise the book. In the result, we naturally led the potential readers to have interest on the content of the book, which led to good sales. The last case I'd like to introduce is use of Twitter for a short novel. We did this challenge to promote and sell novel, con novel consists of 54 characters. The book title is Short Story with 54 Characters. Actually, there was a successful case before. That is one sentence for a novel that went viral on Twitter in 2017. It got 23,000 retweets and 42,000 likes on Twitter. So we did the same challenge for this short story with 54 characters. Let's talk about approach we took. We presented a new award for short story with 54 characters to let more people to be aware of the book. You post a short story made by yourself with 40, 54 characters on Twitter, PHP Institute and the writer choose six masterpieces and each of them receive 1,000 yen, that is about $10 library card. We expand bookstore display at the same time. Then, one of a piece on Twitter, uh, that is the far right, went viral. Actually, it was a piece which posted after the award. It got 40,000 likes and 78,000 retweets. The piece is like this. If you read from right to left, it is a love letter, but if you read from left to right, it's broke up letter. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> so, result is here. 20 web media posted articles about this award and masterpiece. Two TV show picked the piece which went viral in the news. They printed 80,000 copies after award total 110,000 copies. Collaborating with movie about novel writer Hibiki, and we have published series of the short story with 54 characters and presented the award five times so far, total 2,060,000 000, copies so far. So good things about using Twitter for PR activity we can get effective influence with less cost if we can come up with eye-catching content as users would repost and make their own contents by themselves. This is the three things I have learned to have a successful book marketing through social media. First, Know your true readers and target the relevant social media. First, we need to know your true readers, then target the relevant social media to promote the books. If you use wrong social media, it not to be effective. Second, be flexible on the content to post on social media according to the book and readers. We need to walk through the reader's state of mind and actions until they purchase books. What is their purpose and feeling when they want to buy the book? For example, the first case with Instagram was focused on trustworthy. The second case with Facebook for sympathy. And the last case with Twitter was focused on intellectual curiosity. 
So we need to be flexible on ways to post the promotion content. Third, increase the touch point where it catches eyes of true readers at the same moment. For example, bookstores, online article, and newspaper advertisement. With social media promotion, we increase the reader's interest by putting the promotional content where it catches eyes of true readers. Especially it is important to synchronize when readers go to bookstores when attracted by the SNS promotion. Also, I strongly recommend to share the details of promotion with bookstore employees, which increase the willingness to sell the book. Thank you for listening to my presentation. Salamato. Thank you. Thank you, Lisa. Now we'll hear from Princess Malonzo. So hi everyone, I, I'm really happy to be here. I'm always happy to share what we're doing with Halia Publishing. So for today, I'll go, I'll be discussing, of course I'll be introducing who we are, our best practices, our innovations, um, what results we uh, had, and what we're looking forward to in the future in terms of developing our readership. So Halia Publishing, we are an artist-centric independent comics publishing. So we're indie, we chose that structure because we're just a small group. We have limited resources, but we have a lot of stories that we want to tell to our readers. And we also pride ourselves in being artist-centric, meaning that we give our artists um, full creative freedom in their content. So our books, um, these are our most popular titles. So the first one is Tabi Po by Mervyn Malonzo. Um, so we publish graphic novels. Um, for now, we only publish graphic novels. So the first title, Tabi Po, is a horror um, historical fiction type of graphic novel in full color. The second one is Ugg by Julien. So it's more of um, humor and slice of life collection of comic strips and short stories. The third one is Ella Arcangel by Julius Villanueva. This one is more a fantasy adventure. The protagonist is a young uh, girl. Uh, she lives in a poverty-stricken community, and she battles monsters and socioeconomic problems at the same time. So we have a lot of titles, and they're very diverse. We also have zines, which are shorter forms of comics. So these are um, actually more flexible to produce. So we have those as well. And the current landscape, how, it is, how is it for us as an indie publishing group? Of course, we have a lot of challenges and opportunities. Whenever we're publishing a new book, the first um, question always is, when will it be out? And the second qu inevitable question is, will it be available in bookstores? And unfortunately, again, as an indie publishing group, our structure does not really allow for the terms of consignment of our titles in bookstores. So. Um, we're very limited on that, but we always um, um, well, we, we're always confident with our online store as well, um, MervStore.com. Since the generation right now is more digitally um, confident, we have Shopee, we have Lazada, so everyone is more confident in um, buying online. Uh, but we, although we don't have um, titles in those apps, we actually prefer to have our own um, branded online store. Um, also, um, we have to consider word of mouth versus social media. So, um, our main venue for marketing is really social media. But, of course, we never take for granted the power of word of mouth recommendation. Because it's very easy to go viral. Well, well it's not very easy, but it happens that you go viral on social media. But the thing is, you shouldn't forget that not all likes, not all follower counts would translate to sales. So. It's very important that you remember to still um, produce quality content, that when they buy it, they read it. 
um, your audience will also go out of their way to recommend your products to their friends, their families. And of course, we have the choice between joining major book fairs versus niche events. We have no problems in joining niche events. As comic creators, we're always present in like Comic Con, Comic at Indicate, lahat ng comics market halos nandun kami. But the problem is joining major book fairs kasi usually we don't have the capacity to join those things. But syempre, um, dapat maabilidad ka when you're small, when you're, we should be flexible. We can always partner with other major publishers and also other smaller indie creators like us. So we still have that opportunity to join. And it's very important to join major book fairs kasi that's where you meet new people and generate new readers. So, yeah, so how do we keep up? We just play to our strengths and these are some of our best efforts. So like I said, we are very active in events and we also have a strong social media presence. But of course, for social media, uh, what's important is that you also engage your audience. So it's not just about, again, the number of the likes. So it's all about involvement. Whenever we have a new book, uh, we make sure that we involve our audience just so they feel like they're part of the process. We pride ourselves that we have al also built a community of our readers, so we always make sure that they're included. So we post behind the scenes, we post book flip-throughs, and we encourage and share fan arts. We love fan arts because, you know, when, when you create something and it has a big impact enough for someone to also create something of their own out of that connection, then that means they're doing something right. So of course, we always um, encourage and we always share our fan arts. These are just some examples of the fan arts that we have been receiving for our newest release, um, Janu Silang. And um, my next slides will mostly um, include Janu Silang because it's our latest campaign, just so we, I can share to you how we really generate um, book buzz. So cover reveals are, um, it's a requirement. I think all the publishers are doing this for every new release that um, they have. So of course, we have to level up. We have to do something more to be noticed. So of course, we did an animated cover reveal. It's not really something that you usually see. And teasers as well, animated teasers. So that's animated. Hindi lang yata masyadong kita yung animation. I don't know if it's playing. Ayan. So animated din siya. And what I really love about this teaser, aside from the fact that it's animated, um, it takes, uh, if you're not familiar with Janus Silang, it's about this teenage boy who is on a quest to find a character that can save the world, our world, and he has to do that by playing an online game. So if you're familiar with that, with the series, it's really special for you to actually be on his position in logging in that online game. So it's giving another experience to your audience. And when you're making, um, when you're marketing a product, a book, it's all about experience. It's all about um, providing an experience that they will remember that your audience will retain until they go to a bookstore or to a book event and they will remember that, oh yeah, I want to buy this one. So for our new release, we also hosted a blog tour. And this is actually the first time that we did this. Um, our hesitation at first is, um, well, let, just to explain the blog tour, it's like, it's just a digital book tour. So instead of going to um, other places, you just hire, hire, no, you just recruit people to um, do promotions for you on their blogs and on their web websites. So for Janus Silang, we um, signed up 10 book bloggers. So for five days, we have two bloggers each posting book reviews and promotional posts on their blog. Um, that's the week before the actual launch date. So whenever you have, um, whenever we have a new product, a new title, you can never be too noisy. I mean, ang importante, alam nila na meron kang palabas na bago. And, um, Having these content creators help you with that um, promotion, it's, a, it's really a big help. So, ang hesitation namin ng una, kaya hindi kami nagbablog tour, kasi our structure does not allow the budget for free copies and 
the time um, needed na mag-provide ng copies dun sa reviewers. Kasi parang sa amin, hot of the press benta na agad para makuha mo na agad yung profit. Eh. Pero I've, I'm a book blogger too. And for the past year, I've joined numerous blog tours as well for international publishers pa to and major publishers. And I never got um, a physical copy of the book. So I realized na um, bloggers or influencers are not really doing it for the freebie or for, yeah, for the freebie, but just for the love of reading. That it's just being a part of that community and, you know, just really promoting local culture. So yeah, when I realized that, then we decided, and um, this is already ongoing, and yeah, we're getting really good results. Um, so another of our innovation, one that we're really proud of, is H Club Box. So it's basically a book box. It's a mystery box that um, um, we decided to choose a title that we can fe feature for each batch. So for example, um, for Janus Ilang, for our latest box, it means na yung subscriber namin makukuha niya yung Janus Ilang na featured book along with other merchandise. So what's inside? A lot. <laughs> so we have like other books aside from the featured book. We have zines, we have other books, we have merchandise like pin buttons, we have posters, we have art prints, shirts. And um, the, the highlight of it is also the original artwork done by, by our artist. So it's one of a kind, it's premium, it's actually almost priceless because it's a work of art. So that's something that we offer. So our book boxes, our book boxes are not just book boxes, it's really an experience. So if you notice, um, uh, kids these days, um, bloggers these days, they're big on unboxing. So we make sure that our book box is a big unboxing experience. And it's a success because I never thought that we'd go further from our third box. Because the challenge there was um, if we're only gonna feature a Halia publishing title, which is a new release, and if you notice, um, if we have relatively few titles um, for this year. But the solution is actually very simple. Then we just chose other Filipino works that we want to promote to our readers. And it opened up a lot of areas for collaboration. So we, we also upgraded that um, H Club box experience. So of course, not everyone is comfortable with a mystery box. <laughs> So we also allowed a build your own box. And our results, again, like I said, um, we didn't really expect to do as many as seven batches. And I think there are a lot more scheduled for that. Um, we also had increased sales during book launch. It's not only the new book that's selling as well. Every time that we have a new release, it also helps us um, dispose of our um, back copies, back issues. So it's really one thing that um, we really need to do con consistently. And of course, we have new readers and repeat subscribers and collaborations. The, the many entities that chose to trust us, um, like Anino for the co-publishing of China Silang, I think that it's also proof of how much trust they are giving us. And um, it just shows that we're doing something right. So moving forward, we, we're hoping for more partnerships. We're not closing our doors to bookstores um, and more um, book bloggers, influencers for, um, for our marketing efforts. Um, merchandising, of course, it adds value not only to the reader but to us as well. Because kahit gaano man naman ka love yung isang book, pag nabasa mo na siya, hindi ka nabibili ng isa pa. So it's also supportive of your um, funding kung meron ka ding ibang um, avenue. And multimedia. So of course we we love book we love books, we plan to publish more, but we're also expanding to animation, to videos. So there's a lot um, in store for Halia. So again, um just to close this, I guess I just wanna say that it is a competitive market, but you know, no matter how small you are or how, no matter how young you are in the industry, like we're not yet three years old, 
but you know there's always space for more stories and there's always space for more creativity so we just need to go out there um see what everyone else is doing and if you can do it better do it better thank you and now we move on to june matthias <laughs> Uh, magandang umaga po. Yeah. Yung i-discuss ko sa inyo, medyo familiar na rin, pero mamaya sa Q&A na lang siguro uh, kung gusto nyo pang magtanong. Anyway, ito yung mga ginagawa namin sa sa Precious Pages uh, Corporation. Magsimula tayo sa sa video. Ah, hindi nila ma-download. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, those are the samples. Kaya lang yung sa hindi. <laughs> those are the samples na may mga, mga trailers. Marami pa eh. So, in, in Creative Buzz, uh, sa ngayon kasi, napansin namin uh, yung paggawa even ng, ng video, hindi na, ma, hindi na ma-sustain yung mahaba. So, kung napansin nyo yung una, maikli na lang. Siguro yung, uh, yung mga tao ngayon, mar mas masyado na maraming ginagawa. So, uh, as much as possible, we, we want to make it concise, short as possible. Okay. Saan ba to? <laughs> okay. Okay, na. okay, how do we create a buzz? Nowadays, we have to be present online most of the time. We allow our writers to upload their novels online, whether Wattpad, Booklat, Web Novel Dream. No? For free, we encourage our writers to create their own blog sites. If they don't have the time to maintain them, Precious Pages uses WordPress for the writers to, to write their own articles. So, uh, kung mapapansin nyo, hindi kami maramot sa pag-share ng content. Uh, kasi uh, uh, napansin namin na kapag uh, <clears throat> you share it online, so nagkikreate ng buzz. Whether, uh, whether na-edit siya o na-proofread siya o hindi, uh, marunong naman sila magpasensya because it's free. No? Yan. And then, <laughs> yeah, it's free. So ano mga magagawa? Di ba? Ano pa hingin niya? And then, uh, we, we just realized na kahit na free siya, kung talagang gusto ng isang content, bibilin, bibilin ng isang book. Ang book kasi hindi naman siya video, meron siyang sense of ownership, it's tangible. We, our writers are on platforms where our target readers are. They join conversations when netizens talk about the subjects they write about. They engage and make them feel that they are really talking to a human being. Okay. 
Uh, so, ang pinakamadaling <laughs> pinakamadaling gawin is to, very, to, uh, to be very authentic as a person. Hindi ka pwedeng magpa-fake. Uh, mas madaling masakyan ng kausap mo. Mas intimate. Um, uh, napansin ko, kung yung writer authentic siya mag-post. Okay. Booklet is an online community where writers and readers freely discuss certain issues on and about writing. So, wala siya kaibahan masyado sa Wattpad. Yan yung mga uh, media platforms or uh, online platforms na pinupuntahan ng halos writers namin. We have, you have the Wattpad, the Booklet, Dream, Dreamy. Dream, dreamy pala yan, pronunciation, hindi dream. And then the web novel. This is one of the famous writers so Wattpad and other online um, <clears throat> platforms, si Sik Santos. He has 1.3 million followers. So Wattpad, Maxine GG 2.1. And then, how to get noticed by potential readers. This is not just about scheduling and creating posts. We require our social media staff, so many social media staff, and writers to have quality in our posts. Our audience should be should find these posts relevant. We find influencers to endorse our books. So yung mga writers namin nagtutulungan, sometimes si endorse niya ito, kung marami followers to, so endorse yung book niya. Not in a hard sell way. We find influencers to endorse our books. We avoid hard sell posts. We, uh, as much as possible, since sabi sa mga writers, huwag niyo sabihin na grab, your co grab a copy na, okay, parang, parang kang humihingi ng <laughs> parang desperate no? wag <laughs> so pwede ka mag-post lang kailangan subliminal nag-post na natapos mo na yung book or uh, tawag dito ang anak ko, hindi, hindi niya ayaw niya akong patigilin kasi uh, hindi ko tuloy matapos ang libro ko, you're engaging no? okay we avoid hard sell yun, at least na may mention yung book na gagawin mo and then makikita mo naman doon kung inaabangan eh. Di ba? Most important, we help our writers to produce compelling stories by holding brainstormings at least twice a year. So nagbe-brainstorming kami. Uh, we invest on that. Kasi may mga, minsan kasi naubusan din yung writer, let's face it. Um, it's not a joke to write 12 novels a month. So, oh, meron pa more than 12, 12 novels a month. Kaya lang, we help them develop their own stories. And we encourage to them to have uh, parang, hindi mentoring eh, clinicking. So, pinag-uusapan namin kung uh, anong sinusulat ngayon, anong, anong kulang, ganyan. So, nakakatulong yung, yung discussions minsan. And ang maganda lang doon, um, o oh, at least, ayan. <laughs> Example of engagement. <laughs> Ah, uh, nasa na ako? Okay. O yan yung mga example ng mga social media posts, no? Mayroong 31,000 shares, ah, likes. Mayroong pang 20,000 shares sila. So, yun yung mga minsan na amazed ako, no? Ah, uh, mayro, ayan, yung mga ibang influen influencers sila actually. This is one of our brainstorming sa uh, last August 2019. Tapos, we encourage our writers to promote themselves and their works and participate in our events. So, we have media interviews, social, civic, and academic meetups, book signings, book giveaways. Natutuwa. Good morning, everyone. I'm Annie Almario, and I'm moderating the next session, which is on developing readership, generating book buzz. I'd like to introduce our speakers for this session. Our first speaker is Hisa Oywa. She's a Deputy Editor-in-Chief of the Publishing Department of PHP Institute, Incorporated. She edits books about economics, politics, self-help, and business. During her career... In, uh, paano ba? Sa, pag maraming likes, at saka minsan meron silang... O oh, yung... <laughs> may agency na ha? Nag-ihan ano mga ano? Tapos mag-e-email sa kanila, babayaran ka namin ng 10,000, you just... Oo, oh, oh, magpapapicture lang with that product. Yan, luluto siya ng ano to. Pesto. And then the other one, gumawa siya ng video niya uh, about the book. And then, oh, those are the events. Ah, ako naman to. 
Maswerte because it was the views are the views really you know it's it's a number one in I want now. What did I do? I did launch, and then because of the topic, because of the topic the HIV number one natin in the world ngayon na yung yung pag pag increase ng HIV incidence. So because of the topic, Rappler, Eve, may excitement sa kanila too. To go to me and ask me about the about the book. So depend 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 on the topic. Depend depend on the content. At the end of the day, it's still the content. So you have the Rappler, you have CNN, ganyan. Of course, the launch, the ano pa ba interviews. And then, dahil sa dami ng content, ite lagi ko siya sabi sa mga writers, you have to rise above the clutter. Ang dami dami ni, di ba? Nakikita na it's all it's accessible and it's free. Yun lang. Ma mayroon pang iba, kaya lang, it's so, you have only 20 minutes. <laughs> ah, mayroon pa. Ulit natin. <laughs> Thank you na. Q&A na lang. Thank you to June, Prin, and Hisa. Are there any questions for our esteemed speakers on how they their companies generate book buzz? Yes. Hello, I'm Agno from Adarna House. May tanong ako kay June. Uh, hindi ba nag-ano? Yan, yan ang kapatid ko. Akala ko siya tatanungin mo. Hindi, hindi. Araw-araw <laughs> ko na nakita yan. Uh, hindi ba nag-hesitate yung uh, writers mo nung sinabi mo na, uy, ilibre natin tong libro na to online? May, uh, the, the, the writers from Wattpad, they don't. They didn't. Uh, pero yung mga writers offline, yes. Kasi hindi sila sanay. Pero lagi ko sinasabi, bago ka matakot, ako matatakot. <laughs> Kasi kami yung nag-i-invest, di ba? So hanggang ngayon, I would admit, marami pang takot. So actually, what we do, even with the Wattpad writers, yung nababasa sa hard copy, yung mga hard copies, hindi lahat makikita sa Wattpad. So they will, they will announce sa social media, hindi hindi makikita online Wattpad, Booklet or even in their Twitter yung idadagdag o kaya hindi nila naibigay during the time they were writing it online. So pagka sinabit nila, they would they would they would always tell me na pwedeng dagdagan, okay? So yeah, sige dagdagan mo pero wag mo nang ilagay online because uh, for uh, for the for the buyer naman to be fair kasi may nagbasa sa kanila ng libre. Para, kasi mag, mag, magbibigay ka ng pera eh tapos di ba hindi mo lang hindi lang hindi lang premium yung na edit siya na proofread siya pero uh, but meron siyang highlights o may mga parts o o may extra so meron ba nakakarinig dito of the record <laughs> so lagi ko sinasabi yon na huwag lahat uh, pag sinabit mo tsaka mo na ilagay yung gusto mo pa yung mga highlights na wala sa online yun. So kahit binasa niya, gusto pa rin basahin ng ibang readers na asa ah, ano bang wala, you know. Yun. Ah, may follow up ako. Napansin mo ba Jun na kapag nag offer ka ng free na content, mas mas mabenta yung book form dahil nagpauna ka na ng libre? Pato, ano sabi? Yes and no. Kasi kung makikita mo ko na may isang 1 million followers, not 1 million books will be sold. So, iniisip ko lagi, 5%, 10% of 1 million, bibili nito, ganyan, ganyan. So, kung 1 million followers nga naman, laki na. Diba? Ako mag... Hindi kasi benda ng free, of course. Free is free. So, for 2 million followers or 1 million followers, Masaya ka na sa 5 million, ay, 5,000. 5 million. 5,000 copies, di ba? And then, pag nakababad pa siya online, mas ito, we have to know na nanganganak din yung mga writers. 
'di ba? So may may makakabasa pa niyan. That's why ako 'yung nagsimula nung pagmuntang galin. Sabi sinasabi ko sa sa mga online writers kasi other other generation will also read it. So nag tenfold tenfold. Even 'yung isang writer din si Maxine Gigi, the first ang first niyang lumabas siguro 150 lang 'yung dumating, 200. Tapos sa pagmuntang galin, oh, so umabot ng 1,000 mahigit na 'yung dumating sa event niya. So pag habang matagal ka online, huwag kayo matakot. Uh, even my books are online eh. The unedited. Yes? I am Nancy from Abiva. Okay, everybody agrees that the social media um, is very helpful in book promotion. When, you, when the promotion is already ongoing, Um, uh, there may also be negative feedback. How do you avoid or curtail the backlash? Thank you. Uh, you mean what we react for negative feedback, right? Um, for negative feedback, actually, our company do nothing, <laughs> actually. Because that is very honest, honest reaction from readers. If we hide or erase, readers will know in this century. <laughs> so actually, we do nothing. Sorry <laughs> for my answer. Uh, for any negative feedback, uh, we just respond in kindness and remember that not everyone has the same taste. We always get. Um, not always, but we do get those um, negative um, comments. But it's actually welcome because you know it opens the floor for discussion for how we can do better. So that, that should be our mindset with negative feedback. Uh, there are two negative feedbacks. Eh. Bisa kasi may personal na chaka hindi. So yung personal siyempre ini ignore ko. Na wala namang sayang yung oras to. Oh, talaga. Uh, minsan kasi two personal lang iba, lalo na yung mga, I don't know if they're Gen Z or Millennial, so what. Um, yung tinitino ko lang yung chef, uh, the constructive criticisms, of course, yes. Uh, uh, how do I do it? Pag kailangan PM lang, kasi ang hirap pag minsan yung screenshot, di ba, Ju? Yung screenshot yung, yung hindi mo ayaw mong sabihin. So I, I, we try to avoid that, kasi baka may, may confidential kang sasabihin. May, yung mga bata ngayon, hilig mag-screenshot, tapos papakita, so wala ka na magagawa. <laughs> Questions? Yes? Hi, I'm Honey. Um, I wanted to ask, because one of the things that um, impressed me actually about June and um, Halia is that you have a big fan base. Um, so I wanted to find out, and um, even what you shared, ma'am, um, I wanted to find out if you actually looked at the impact of fans to your buzz and sales versus those who, you know, who just found it. Um, but how much do you actually maximize the fan communities in order to create a bigger buzz? Uh, well, not all fans have, um, not all fans are influencers. So I guess um, we just identify those that actually have, I mean, if we're really talking about taking advantage of fans, we do have um, a small community of um, book bloggers, um, friends that I also know which have um, followers. Uh, no matter how small, they're still, they still have a level of influence and they're always willing to help. They have Um, we have um, platforms in Instagram and Twitter in their blogs and it's always um, it's always like a teamwork whenever we have a promotional campaign that we involve them in so it, they really help how to maintain the fan base the fan base right okay um, the events events tapos uh, uh, we, we have to present Uh, to be present in 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 all platforms and we have to evolve hindi pwedeng yun na lang yung yung binibigay mo like ngayon sa romance they they already ano eh, uh, they already accept 
uh, sad endings. May mga ganyan na. So, I think uh, yung, yung word na evolve is very important to us. Lalo na, lalo, lalo na ngayon na ibang-iba na yun. Uh, madali, madali mag-iba. Madali mawala ako uso because of the digital thing. So, ayun na mahirap ngayon. <laughs> Ayan. One generic marketing, I think. But hindi mo pwedeng hindi isipin yung mga new would-be fans. Yun yung sinasabi kung you have to evolve. Uh, uh, kunwari dati yung mga stories mo, ganito, tapos kinakagat na yung mga ganitong content. You have to be aware of that. Eh. Diba? So ngayon, even in the movies, tinatanggap na yung mga edgy. So, we're into that already, yung mental health illness. Dati, hindi, hindi namin ginagawa yun. Even the title, no? Uh, even the title, hindi namin ginagawa yung mga edgy titles. Ngayon, ginagawa na namin. So, because of the, yun sinabi ko sa huli, you have to really rise above the clutter. Yan. Uh, yes, we have one generic uh, marketing campaigns, but also for our um, really, like, diehard fans, we try to do a meet and greet. Occasionally, uh, we have a series of talks called Halia Manawari. Um, so that's the, uh, an opportunity for us to really connect with them personally. And as for our book box, uh, syempre yung mga nag-a-avail noon, mostly talagang yung mga diehard fans and mga repeat subscribers. So we also make sure that we offer them premium products as well. What about you, Hisa? Does your publishing house have a, a fan base and how do you target that fan base? Uh, actually, we mainly publish non-fiction books, so I guess fan community is normally for novels and like novelists. But I'm I'm want to I'd like to share with you about our magazines because magazines have more fans. So for one magazine about life philosophy, we have an offline community for all over Japan, like main cities, each main cities. So they have gathering a monthly talking about magazines. And for business magazine, monthly business magazine, they have uh, also monthly gathering for reading business books to share their knowledge. And sometimes they give the magazine to feedback for magazines, so it helps us a lot. Yeah, idadagdag ko yung tanong ni Hani. Yung mga traditional writers namin, ang dadating hindi sanay sa online, my God, it's really hard. So, I talk to them heart to heart. You have to do this. Ganun eh. It's hard for them to accept. Pero ginagawa nila. Meron ba kayong campaign na naka-focus talaga on parang converting people to be your fans? To be new um, Halia readers or new Precious Pages readers? May ganun ba kayong campaign? Uh, for every campaign that we run, that's actually one of the objectives, I guess. Kasi um, you can't survive with just your repeat subscribers. The whole point is to really reach out and get more people. Um, and also, sa Pinas kasi, it, um, not everyone knows na comics is still alive. So that's also one of our <laughs> ad advocacies. So it's always, you know, it's always a fight to really um, inform everyone. Okay. Uh, it's it, it, the easiest way is the social media talaga. So anything that you do, uh, kailangan ngayon nakakabit na sa social media, whatever campaign you do. Kasi uh, even free TV ngayon, I mean streaming na uso. So ayun, uh, the campaign, yun yung sinabi ko kanina, di ba, yung to be human. So napaka personal na ngayon ng promotion. So that's what I do with the writers. We cannot po just post their, their, 
their novels or their 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 content ng ganun ganun lang it has to be personal it's it should be coming from them so kaya yung sinabi ko kanina it should be authentic we cannot do that the authenticity sa kanila manggagaling so i think that's uh, ang 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 pinakaimportante ngayon is to pro to promote your in promoting your novel you have to show yourself also yun ang nangyayari ngayon if you if you if you know about the the phenomenon of wattpad diba so hindi lang yung content but you as a writer who are you as a writer and you have to be authentic hindi mo wag mo i-fake ang sarili mo yun ang nakikita ko eh kasi yung mga nakikita ko the more they rant minsan parang ano uh, may charm pa yun sa iba so kung ano ka yun na kung kakagatin ka okay kung hindi ka kakagatin wala kang magagawa so wag mo na ipilit basta you have to you have to be yourself and then give a nice content I think that's the key Maybe we have time for one last question. Yes, Wawi. Hello, po. Uh, so my question um, is about, uh, first it starts off with Hisa's presentation, which has really, uh, which I appreciated was the solid data that they had. Um, I was just wondering, does, does PHP Institute um, find all of this data uh, freely or is it online? Is it given by your government or does PHP Institute hire a separate company to to gather the data for you and for the or two other speakers? Um, what do you recommend for us to in terms of researching or knowing more? Uh, like what are the numbers that we should look at as well in terms of getting to know our readers more or being able to re uh, reach out to them better? Thank you. Uh, we don't have like data scientists of our company, so we have partnerships with kind of like book association to have data and peer agencies, etc., to help us. Uh, we marketing. Ang hirap magkano ng marketing, di ba? So. so we just do it ourselves. Uh, we have we we find time to talk about it on how to do it. So yung staff ko kami kami. So ayon we we're trying to be creative. Marketing is creativity. So uh, we do it. We do uh, uh, we base it on what's happening around us, de ba? Ayun ang ginagawa namin yung marketing. That's how we do the marketing. Yeah. Uh, but do you track the sales? How much comes out? Oh yeah. Oh, oh. Tinitinan din namin yung campaign kung ilan yung, yung, yung sales, number of printing, ganyan na generate uh, we Right now, we don't have the capacity to hire any professional um, to gather data for us, but um, technology is very good nowadays. So actually, if you have a Facebook page or an Instagram page, um, you can pull up reports of the demographics of your audience, although that doesn't re reflect on sales. If you really want to study our sales, our um, online store is um, sh through Shopify, and Shopify actually has that reports. We can pull that up when we want to, although that's not that wouldn't cover everything because we also sell a lot during events so that's one of the opportunities i guess eh bueno me me da dagdag lang kasi nang mag-get yung followers so sometimes alam mo nakaka nakaka ano rin nakaka nagtataka rin ako may mga maraming followers pero hindi ganoon kasi kasi benta ng isang bayad so oo may mga ganoon oo ayun siguro hindi siguro perfect talaga mo dapat pamilya lang ako pamilya followers daw kami niya ba Mga pinsan lang pala niya yung follow sa kanya. Okay, let's give a hand to our three speakers. We hope you'll join us for the next session in this meeting room. You can also join the session in the in the next room because June and I will be there. Um, the next session in this room is about generating a market for books and we'll be hearing from um, big bookstores and how they generate sales. Thank you very much.